Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, you know what I'm going to talk about. I saw this article on Facebook where the Gleaner interviewed the Williams family. Well, nothing wrong with that. Well, like the highlight and them thing there. But the problem with me have with this article, or video to be precise, them do the interview and then I ask some stupid question. Then I ask some real stupid question. I go through the comments and people are related to the, the article. You understand? I'm mean, going to hear them I mention nothing about Alex. So Alex. Um, make them reach right there. So it's like Alex would have been the one who highlight them. So them should have been say, you know, so Alex, I could come here and. You know, and I like that Alex is helping them. Not once in that interview, many hear yeah, them ask. I, I, I think when they do the interview behind the scene, Alex said that they a vlog, so I saw them in the background and do them thing. And you understand, guys? Remember, if you like this video for me, guys, like it. So I say, it's like them do the interview and everything, and the Williams family. I get help. So many of them I like the part that they say, yeah, Alex is getting help for the family. So what you think about Alex? Is he helping or nothing? No. So you know where them thing occurs now? When the bigger heads them say all this now. Them now go on for say Alex, I look a young man do this and them. I want to come in for the project now and show him off of the bus. Remember the Dylan attack story how them deal with him? Yeah. So don't be surprised if something like this not happen. You understand? If they want to take up a project. So people in the comment or comment all type of things. People are say they want a contact number for the family direct. Other people are say go on Alex page, you will see that Alex is helping them and you can find Alex number there. Other people are say no them now send no money come to a third party. Only if I did Auntie Dana, they would have sent the money. And I say, you see, look at this cause now. Cause people want help, no, no. People want help, but people have said they don't want to go through a third party. If Glena had just put up the story and said, all right, then, um, a young man have a project around where he might help them out already. He might carry things and stuff. So, here yeah, well, we could work with the number here. Because the Williams don't have no number. So if I declare you know, alone, you know, the, the, the Williams, they're going to wait, wait, wait until some bigger head seat to help them. So why they never just put out Alex's number and say, right, contact the number here, the youth here, yeah. um, I collect donations and they help out already. They don't do that. They just do the thing like we just make for them people look good. So I don't mean, like with the article of the glee, you know, they need to put out. Alex number. Alex is the one who found the Williams. You guys saw Alex video on the run, go down there. Like, go take on a project and a video and them thing there. Like. Put a contact number for him then, man. If you not got use him project, then where I do? Highlight him to make the people you know, say, yeah, he might do this and he might do that. What, train too young again? Train too young, you know, and do that. I don't know just about phone views and phone crew and them thing there. Like. When I write this one to do is not gonna make any help for them in my book, to be totally honest. When I don't put a contact number, when I don't put nothing. So people would have to try to contact a gleaner and one bag or something and uh guys, I don't know. That's my two cent panic, guys, cause the always I try to throw the youth under the bus when him is the one who pick out them people and make people see them needs and always I get help for them. So I don't like the article where the cleaner put out, simple that. It's like them at your Alex on the bus, then they put out no contact number, nothing. I don't see nothing pertaining to help. And you can see through the comments them right here. I'll go up on your screen, guys. As you just leave a comment, let me know what you think. And me soon in the next video. Oh, guys, I will give you an update on uh, Mr. Derek. Yeah, I should visit Mr. Derek and get our next story about his eyesight and condition cause a lot of people reaching out so big up on yourself for that and I appreciate it. Yeah and trust me guys 
I'm so pleased to be a Jamaican. The amount of people reach out to Derek. This morning I had the privilege to talk to one of his former students. He told me that Derek used to teach him dance, dancing. So I was like, wow, Derek used to teach dancing. So Derek come like him in a whole heap of activity at the school. I mean, teach dancing. And when next one saying used to teach him um, track and field. So a couple more who come on board and, you know, and he told me that he used to help out. He used to help out with Derek. You know, I forget him names. Um, but I go get in contact and we are going to work on certain little things together. Yeah, man. Other people say they want to reach out, they want to wash him clothes every week. Some people say they want to help with him rent. Some people say they want to help financially. So this is the goodness of the internet, guys. It's what you use it for to make it positive. Yes, I run a mix-up channel. Yes, I do mix-up stuff at times. But sometimes I have to take a break and um, reflect on reality and things that people needed in real life. You can't just come on social media and just all about drama. There's more things in Jamaica that people want to see. You understand? Because when I post a Derek video, I never, I just intend like, if it get one 4,000 views, people watch it and reach out and that's it. I never know, say to the almost reach 20K views, guys, in a one day. So I appreciate all of you. And I see lots of you in the comments want to help and, yeah, we're going to do this together. I'm going to, I just spoke to Derek and I'm going to go there um, this morning and I'm going to talk to him about certain things and I will upload the video so I can see what is what. And again, Jamaican, foreign, all over the diaspora, I really, really appreciate you guys. You know, for no son of our one of their down or willing to help, it touched me. Trust me, it touched me. It touched me. As I never expect this. I never expect this in our million years. You understand? I'm glad say you can get the help. I don't know what going on me if um the Sunday for drive around that direction. So I could have seen him call. Yeah, so I just wanted to say a big thank you for everybody who is coming on board and who is willing to make a difference in Derek life. Yeah, man. Call us and big up, big up, big up, big up, big up 100 times. And this is just the start of the journey. So I hope this be a fairy tale story so everybody can talk about it years to come. As usual, like the video, leave a comment. See you in the next video. I'm out.